So Donald Trump sat down for an interview with an OAN reporter, and I use the word reporter very charitably here. Really, this is a propagandist at OAN. But he asked Donald Trump a question that is just absurd. Uh, he asked if Donald Trump believes Joe Biden is going to bring in refugees from Afghanistan because this is what's going to help Democrats win future elections. It's not because we ruin their country and we have a moral obligation to bring in Afghanistan refugees here. It's because this is going to be the Democratic Party's plan to win elections. Now, it's not even like Joe Biden is planning on doing much to help Afghanistan refugees. We really should be bringing in millions of Afghanistan refugees. But there are reports about how the U.S. is scrambling to find other countries to take in Afghanistan refugees. So on its face, this is is an absurd thing to even consider. Nonetheless, Trump kind of shoots it down, but he has different conspiracy theories that he's going to introduce into the conversation, and he's going to contradict himself multiple times, further signaling that he is indeed declining mentally, as he accuses Joe Biden of declining mentally, which is true to an extent. But Trump is very clearly not well mentally, and the prospect of him running for president in 2024 truly terrifies me. But nonetheless, let's take a look and see what he has to say. Why do you think, and this is another thing, just talking like about the Middle East, why would the Biden administration want to allow, by the end of this year, by most figures I've looked up, it's gonna be 1.5, 2 million Millions illegal people, yeah. yeah, 2 million by the end of the year. Why would you wanna do that? Are you trying to then, and we see where we're shipping them. They're shipping them to the Midwest, the South, red states mostly. Is this a planned for another way to cheat at elections? So they say it's the votes, but I don't think so again. You know, do you I don't wanna be naive. I think they're grossly incompetent. I really do, I don't think it's the votes because they cheat on the elections. They don't need votes, they cheat on the elections. I mean, you look at 43,000 votes were found last night. They cheat on elections. When you cheat on elections, you don't have to destroy the country. They're destroying our country. Our country will not survive this. Our country will not survive. And look at where they're coming from. They're coming from Yemen. They're coming from the Middle East. They're coming from all countries that are very sick countries, very sick, very uh, n mean, nasty. They're coming from all countries that have problems. They're not going to be helpful to us, these people. And a lot of them are criminals. Right. They're emptying their jails. If you look at Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and others, they're emptying their jails into our country. Can you believe it? So that was absurd. Before I talk about Donald Trump's response here, I just want to get to that question that the reporter asked. You know, uh, is this plan uh, to bring in refugees just another way that Democrats are going to cheat? Like, what an idiotic question. That's absurd on its face. If Democrats are already cheating, like if you genuinely believe that, why would they need to do anything to further enhance their cheating? If they're rigging it, wouldn't they just like change the numbers or do what they do, make up ballots? Why would they need to bring in refugees from Afghanistan to cheat further? It, it doesn't make sense. And I think that Trump, he's deep enough in this conspiracy theory to point that out. But I just want you to like appreciate how absurd it is that you have this seemingly serious news reporter asking such a bizarre question. I mean, truth and words have no meaning in 2021 America. You could just make things up, say things that are absurd, and lots of people, millions of people will believe you. That's the reality that we live in, where reality is actually questionable and objective truth is up for debate. It's all subjective. There's no empirical reality. It's all up to someone's interpretation. It's just, it's really sad. But uh, Trump contradicted himself multiple times. So he says, you know, they cheat in elections, they don't need votes. So he kind of disputed that fact. But then um, towards the end of that clip, he then walked back his refutation of the claim that Democrats are bringing refugees from Afghanistan here by saying, well, look at where they're coming from. They're coming from Yemen. They're coming from the Middle East. Wait. Are they coming here to cheat? Because you just said that if they're already cheating, they don't need to do that. So I, I don't like fully understand the claim that he was making. And to be honest, I don't believe that he did as well. But do you believe or do you not believe that they're importing votes here? Because this has been long maintained by Republicans that Democrats are bringing in people to vote. Right? They're importing people from Latin America. They're importing people from around the globe to vote further broaden their base. So what do you believe? 
He also says, um, when you cheat on elections, you don't have to destroy the country. And then immediately after that, he says, they're destroying our country. Our country will not survive this. Wait, when you cheat on elections, you don't have to destroy the country, destroy the country by bringing in people here. But then he says, they are destroying the country. And then he says, they are bringing people here. And he says, our country will not survive this, will not survive the cheating or the bringing people here. It's incoherent. Like what he's saying, meaningless. It means nothing. Uh, what I can extrapolate from that is that he believes in conspiracy theories and that he's delusional. That's the takeaway. And if you're wondering whether or not he had a change of heart about the big lie that he was spreading, no, he still believes that the election was stolen. Take a look. I got 75 million votes, more than any sitting president's ever gotten. He didn't get 81 million votes. There's no way he got 81. There's no way that he got 81 million votes because I don't like Joe Biden, so there's no way that that many people like Joe Biden as well. Also, you know, the media, they're really mean to me, and, you know, a lot of people hate me unnecessarily and arbitrarily so. Uh, but yet I'm also super popular and everyone loves me and I've got the most votes, you know, of any sitting president, except Biden did get more votes than me, but we're not going to mention that. It's a lie. It's just like this man is is dumb. There's no other like way to put it. You just have to be frank. He's he's a dumb fuck. Trump's actually a dumbass. He probably has eaten paint chips for his entire life, including, you know, a portion of his adult life. Uh, he's just truly stupid. So, of course, you know, this is the type of person who says things that resonate with people because we have a lot of Americans who also think in this irrational, delusional, conspiratorial way. So he doesn't necessarily have to make sense so long as he says enough words to where people can take those words and attribute meaning to his words, right? So that's why being clear and concise doesn't really make a difference for Donald Trump because the incoherent nature of his speaking is what I think is alluring. It's what makes him enduring because you know he says like oh when you cheat in elections you don't have to destroy the country they're destroying our country like to normal people with brain cells that work that sounds like a contradiction but to his base they think oh well that makes perfect sense because it means and then they fill in the blank with their own meaning it's why make america great again resonated with so many people because it's vague right what does it mean i don't know what what when do we want to go back to when america was great like when was it last great what's the time period he doesn't say he leaves that up to interpretation. And I don't necessarily think it's because Donald Trump is some marketing genius. I think that, you know, uh, dumb minds think alike. And he's stupid, so people understand him because he's he's on their level. And, you know, I don't mean to be overly crass and put down people. We all have our flaws. Nobody's perfect. But after seeing, like, the anti-mask, anti-vax rhetoric throughout the pandemic, the conspiratorial thinking of Americans, I don't have much hope for American society. I think that if people like Donald Trump continue to be influential, then, you know, the country will further circle the drain. And, and you know, what's really frustrating to me is it's not even about Donald Trump. If he doesn't run in 2024, Republicans, their base is going to pick the, the next biggest deluded person, either Ron DeSantis or Marjorie Greene. So it's just, it's really frustrating. What we need is someone in the Republican Party to somehow bring this base back to reality. But if they go against the grain, if they try to swim against the current, they're going to get, you know, they're going to get blown out. So we're in this unwinnable situation where hyperpolarization will continue. And it's because, you know, it's not just about policy disagreements anymore. It's about these conspiracy theories that are not verifiable, but they're continuing to drive a wedge between Americans and hurt democracy overall. And to see things like this, to see Donald Trump continue to spread these lies, it is absolutely hurtful to democracy. And we have to call it out as much as we want to move on from Donald Trump, because what he's saying here is dangerous. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous. And he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.